Hi guys, uh, this is video number three in the series uh, my um, image upload example. In video number one, I have um, created user interface that allows user to uh, select image from their mobile device. And in video number uh, two, I have um, showed you how to write uh, Swift code to uh, get the image that user selected and uh, send it um, as an HTTP POST request. Uh, to a server-side script and in this video number three I'm going to uh, walk you through PHP script that accepts uh, HTTP parameters accepts um, the uh, image uh, that mobile device is sending and simply writes it to a file system so the script is simple and what it does uh, it uh, first it um, reads the HTTP request now this is general, uh, it reads both, uh, the request will read both uh, a get and post. If you wanted to limit it to post only, uh, you can do this. Uh, uh, so uh, we can read, uh, we, my mobile application sends um, first name, last name, user ID and uh, the uh, image itself as a file. So in my um, uh, PHP script, I'm using uh, first name, reading last name, and I'm reading user ID. Um, I'm not in this example. I'm not going to use this first name and last name. I'm just showing you how to read this data. And I'm not actually going to use user ID. You will need user ID so that you uh, can uh, make uh, a record into your database that there is an image for this user. Uh, and basically, this script will is is only an example of how to accept these parameters and uh, store uh, image into a file system. So uh, my image will be stored uh, into a, tar a target directory, which I hard code uh, here. Uh, my um, Swift developer blog is a WordPress site. So uh, it has a content folder and it has a uploads folder. And um, basically this is the dire directory pa path where I'm going to store uh, my image. If for some reason your directory uh, does not exist, let's assume you wanted to, um, to um, append this uh, user ID to this uh, directory path, for example, like this. Then, if it if directory does not exist, uh, this PHP script w will create one. But because I have tested this code, of course, um, uh, my directory exists, and you might not need it. Uh, okay, then what I do, I um, append uh, I access when when you upload files um, to uh, a server side in PHP there is uh, an array um, where all these files get uh, stored and um, I access this um, files uh, array and I access one particular it's called file and remember uh, in my um, video number two I ask you to remember this file file path key so this is the key that I'm referring so if I call it here differently I'll, if I call it here my file or my image file then in my PHP script I should um, uh, refer to this file by using this key so I'm, I'm saying file name and basically to my directory path I'm appending this file name and um, uh, next um, Basically, uh, move uploaded file uh, is a PHP function. It's not my function. I'm not uh, implementing it. And I say if um, uh, PHP can successfully move uh, this file um, into a target directory that I have specified um, from a temporary directory, uh, from a, a temporary file, then um, I know that image is uploaded and I can send uh, back an HD and uh, JSON response uh, to my mobile application. And what I do here, basically, I create a very simple uh, PHP array. It's a kind of um, hash map uh, where I um, 
have a key pair uh, key a value pairs my message is equal the file with this name has been uploaded status is okay and the user ID uh, again you can uh, depending on your uh, functionality and server-side needs you might want to send a different um, message to your mobile application and then I take this uh, uh, PHP array and I encode it into a JSON format but if for some reason if this um, if um, if file was not uploaded uh, for some reason uh, uh, it could not upload a file uh, else will trigger and here I sent a different uh, message uh, to uh, uh, my uh, mobile uh, application this is it a very simple example again I've tested uh, uh, it many times it works uh, you can pause this video you can read the, uh, you can type this code um, or uh, you can go to my blog post uh, on um, Swift developer blog uh, and um, this code uh, will be there and if for some reason it doesn't work for you uh, please leave me a message um, I will try to help you out